Welcome back everybody to another edition of Joshin' Around. I am your guy Rez and I am very excited to share with you guys another jersey in my personal collection. It is getting closer to the weekend people so hopefully I could get your weekend jump started by sharing with you guys this dope pickup in my collection right here. So let's jump into it. Alrighty so as you can see right here I am holding in my hand a 1993 Reggie White, Green Bay Packers, Mitchell and Ness Authentic from the 1993 season. This man was nicknamed the Minister of Defense for a reason. At six foot five, we have a 300 pound Reggie White who played the defensive end position. Yo, this guy was scary, man. This man had such an impressive resume, but just to go over some of his career highlights, he was a Super Bowl champ in Super Bowl 31. He was selected for the Pro Bowl 13 times. He also received a two-time NFL Defensive Player of the Year, and he was a three-time NFC Defensive Player of the Year. Good luck trying to get past this guy, that's for sure. This right here has been one of my sought out jerseys on my jersey hunt for quite some time. Reggie White, one of the best defensive players to ever play in the game of NFL, God rest his soul. You know, this was a jersey that I had to get in my collection and I never owned a Reggie White jersey, but I always wanted one over the years, but I could never find one in my size. So alas, thankfully this jersey was reproduced numerous times from Mitchell and Ness, so I finally pulled the trigger and got this jersey. So, you know, just something about the jersey, you know, green is my favorite color. I'm not really a diehard Packers fan or anything, but I am a fan, a huge fan of Reggie White. Though I will say that I am pretty jealous of the Packers colors. I mean, that whole green and gold combo. I really like these uniforms. I'm not a cheese head, like I said, but yo, you know, this jersey had to show my love. Uh, to the Packers one time and had to show love to my boy Reggie White, you know, rest in peace. I'm going to try and break down the jersey's components and kind of give you a more detailed look. For starters, from the neck collar, you have that nice gold and white and green trim right there around the neck. Along with the trim around the neck, you also have the traditional NFL shield patch right there that is embroidered on the jersey, along with the printed sleeves of that gold white and that like really dark forest green color right there. The numbers of the 92 for Reggie White are heat pressed both front and back of the jersey. You also have the heat press 92 on the shoulders as well. The jersey also has spandex sides, so definitely has some stretch to it, which is really what I like with NFL jerseys. And on the back of the nameplate, you have Reggie White's name that is heat pressed on the nameplate as well. Looking at the jock tag, you have that Sammy Baugh uh, NFL throwbacks traditional logo right there along with the Mistral Ness Nostalgia Company tag right below it and then you have the 93 Reggie White and the NFL players tag. On the neck tag you have your traditional Mitchell Ness neck tag along with the red tag of the size which is a 48 XL my size my preferred size at least and then you also have the retail tags. This jersey retailed for $250. I know Mitchell Ness authentics or just authentics in general can get pretty pricey but if you actually do your digging you could find a lot of authentic for under retail you just got to be really patient and you have to really do some thorough digging around the, mar the market and the internet and also you do have that beautiful patch i love jerseys with patches i feel like they make the jersey pop so much more but you have that green bay packers 75th anniversary patch right there slapped on in the upper shoulder my final thoughts on the jersey i think it's a beautiful jersey i definitely want his philadelphia eagles one but every time i find that jersey it's either too big too small, out of my price range, or if I find one in my size right before I'm about to buy it, it sells out. So if anybody out there has the Philadelphia Eagles Reggie White in that Kelly Green, or even the white colorway in a size 48, hit your boy up, because I love Reggie White, one of my favorite players to date, you know, God rest his soul. And, um, you know, I like defensive players. I like people who play in the defensive line. I like linebackers. Those are like my dudes, you know. I enjoy watching linebackers and defensive linemen. It always fascinated me, you know, because I always feel like defense wins games most of the time. But again, you guys know Reggie White, one of the greatest. I think between him and Lawrence Taylor, it's very debatable. But yo, I ain't gonna go wrong with my boy Reggie White. All right, guys, well, that is pretty much going to wrap up this jersey review on this bad boy right here. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. And actually, I would like to know 
what do you guys prefer more? Do you prefer Reggie White's jersey when he played for the Philadelphia Eagles? Or do you like the Green Bay Packers one more? I would love to hear what you guys think. Honestly, I want them both. If I had to choose one, though, I think I would go with the Eagles one. I've just, I've that Kelly Green and that Eagle on the shoulder, the arm sleeve is just, oh, that, that jersey is beautiful. But not to take anything away from this jersey, I think this jersey is hot regardless. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Anyways, guys, thank you guys again for all the continued love and support on my channel and videos. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have, thank you so much. Leave a comment, like the video, share the video, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys on the next video.